Leslie, I've been learning about C-sharp and I'm really interested in ranges. Can you show me an example of how it works? Sure can, Jasmine. So usually when you're loading a subset of values in an array, you might have to implement something like this, where you have this tedious for loop and then you specify the range of values that you're interested in. And then you paste each of those into a variable. But what's cool about ranges is you can bypass this for loop entirely just by condensing it into two little dots here that are rep representative of range. So in my, this case, if I wanted to access the first three elements in a list I have called words, then I can just do index zero followed by dot dot up to index four. And it's as simple as that. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. So in addition to that, I can do a couple other things with the dot dot. Uh, so for instance, if I wanted to declare the full range and get all the elements in a list, then I can just use dot dot. Or if I wanted to declare an open-ended range, so let's say I want to get all the values from index four to the end of the list, then I can just do four dot dot. So there's a lot of different ways I can play around with that. Yeah, I really love this because I feel like the syntax is much clearer to understand and work with. And I'm really interested about, interested about these ranges. Can I define a range outside of the brackets? You sure can. So you can define them like you would any other variable. So using the index type, I can define the indexes that I'm interested in. And I can also use the range type to write out the range syntax like I was doing earlier, just in variable form. And then I can use that variable in between those array brackets. Neat. I'm also really interested in those hat characters over there. What do they do? Yeah, so these hat characters represent indexes from the end of the list. So it's kind of like doing a reverse regular index, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this case, I have caret 4. And this represents the fourth element from the end of the list. Or I can do the first element from the end of the, of the list. And that's kind of the equivalent of the size of your array minus 1. Neat. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Leslie. And if you're interested in ranges or C-sharp 9, check out the link below.